The new Mini John Cooper Works hatch is the most powerful Mini yet, and the new Performance flagship also promises to be the best all-round package to ever wear the JCW badge. The JCW still adds a big slab of performance over the Cooper S, plus extra standard features and a tougher look. The Cooper S's 2 litre turbo has been tweaked to produce 170 kilowatts, which trumps the hardcore old 1.6 litre GP by 10 kilowatts, and the JCW gives the choice between manual or auto. The 6 speed manual may seem like the most obvious choice for a hot mini, but like most autos these days, the 6 speed self shifter is actually quicker and a whole litre more efficient on the combined cycle. The appeal of minis has never been just about numbers though, and while the new model is bigger than ever before, it still feels more nimble than pretty much anything else on the road, and its retro styling won't be mistaken for anything else. The Mickey Mouse interior design is still a bit polarising, but the quality of materials and details in the top spec JCW are pretty special. The current Mini's extra size means the back seat and boot are a bit more useful these days, but still a way off bigger hot hatches like the Golf GTI or Focus ST. It's also pretty grown up in the way it drives. With max torque on tap from 1250 revs, it's very easy to get the best out of the engine, and there's great induction roar and exhaust snorts when you're getting up it. We've only driven the auto model for now, but it shifts pretty quickly for a torque converting unit. The standard adaptive suspension is probably the biggest JCW development though, meaning you can dawdle around in relative comfort most of the time, but bring back the full JCW sharpness at the flick of a switch. Put to the test around Phillip Island in patchy wet conditions, the JCW is very easy to drive at its limit. Standing on the new Brembo brakes into Turn 1, the JCW is impressively stable for what is still a small brick on wheels. Like most modern cars, it naturally favours understeer, but gentle rear steering can be induced on liftoff. There's no fancy mechanical diff, but the brake actuated diff lock does a great job of putting power to the ground, even in the wet. The steering doesn't offer quite as much feel as you'd hope for such skinny tyres, and the whole package isn't quite as lively as a Fiesta ST for around half the price. The JCW hatch is fast and predictable, but it's not likely to scare you. There are faster hot hatches out there for the same money as the new JCW hatch, but few, if any, can match the Mini for its sense of occasion. If you're after a three-door Mini that's quick but still livable, the new JCW is a cracker.